That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Oh, no tears, please. It's a waste of good suffering. Fairly alarmed here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and when I think of when I think of uh, Cenobites, I kind of think of always think of like iconography. Like, if you squint, can you tell if that's the same character kind of thing? Mm-hmm. And the one thing that I think is a really cool stylistic standpoint with Pinhead is, of course, his titular pins in his face. Right. Uh, uh, the pale skin, the blacked out eyes, the the grid, you know, kind of like the tracing lines of what, just to make sure that these pins aren't haphazardly stuck all over himself. These were thought out and planned mm-hmm. precisions of pain, you know, that just, I, lo- I it's one of those things that you've, you've never seen before. So when you come across it. Right. Well, and at one point there was a theory that perhaps he's wearing someone else's face and the pins are just keeping it on. I've never thought about that. That's <laughs> super cool. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, he doesn't actually look, you know, in the second one, they kind of give them more backstory where Pinhead was originally kind of a World War II general mm-hmm. who's been scarred by the horrors of the battlefield and wanted to kind of escape into the infinite pleasures of Leviathan. Yes. And that's where Pinhead was born. So, And they don't look alike. If you've ever seen Doug Bradley without the makeup on, he was like a completely different guy. Which is, he does. He does. It's so weird, and it's such a testament to how good the 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 uh, makeup effects are. Because yes, yes, it's so it's like it's how kind of like how Clark Kent and Superman should be. They should look completely opposite from each other. But <laughs> <laughs> but Doug, Doug Doug Bradley and Pinhead are two different humans. I don't know how they did that, but uh, and you can kind of see in the suit. It's it's such a streamlined look with the form-fitting leather padding on his on his shoulders mm-hmm. down to the like you said the accoutrement as it were the the hooks and in, 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 uh, instruments of their torture are you know are placed around their waists right. and the flowing robes that give it that uh catholic feel you know what i mean it's just it's so streamlined it's like it almost makes me when i look at the, this image i look at i think about like neo in the matrix you know what I mean? Like Ooh, you can tell that movie. You can tell that movie took inspiration from that silhouette. You know what yeah. I mean? Just you know the the, the tight fitting you know top with the flowing bottoms. You might as well have a cape on. <laughs> yeah, honestly, because it gives him this feel that he's kind of just levitating. He's this all powerful being that's just kind of there. Yes, he. You don't see him walk. They they don't really move that much. Actually, <laughs> they just kind right, of appear. Right. They teleport in. They you know they don't even there's no arm or hand gestures for the chains either. They just kind of look at you and they just then there they are. Next thing you know, you got a chain in your in your jejunum. What do you <laughs> what do you do after that? <laughs> now you got a chain. And well, and so I was doing some research, and it seems that. Uh, Clive Barker drew inspiration from African fetish sculptures when designing Pinhead and designing what his look would be overall. Um, and so That's he's designed cool. so that shadows are always swirling around his head as a result of the many pins. That is so... I love, like, in horror, and we'll probably... And maybe in another Ready to Scare, we'll talk about the Nightmare on Elm Street series. But kind of the <laughs> subtle things that uh, directors and costume designers do to throw off your visual equilibrium. Yeah. You know what I mean? Kind of like how in Freddy's sweater, they chose green and red because those two colors kind of clash with each other mm-hmm. to the point where it makes you like subliminally nauseous. Right. You know what exactly. I mean? That's why they chose those colors. And the same thing with Pinhead, you can never get a good grip on his face because like you said, the pins are con- always obstructing the true, you know, line shadow in his cheekbones or in his eyes, in his forehead. So, that's awesome. I, I didn't even know that. That's super cool. Well, and you never really see him in daylight, of course. No. And either it's stark white or it's like lit by like a one candle in a room or something like that. You never see yeah. <laughs> him, in, him in day glow because there is the, you know, we'll tear your soul apart moment where <laughs> it's all white. <laughs> and he kind of fades into this white, weird cloud. 
and it bleach it kind of bleaches out his face, but you can still see the blackness of his eyes. Exactly, exactly. Uh, if you could make one or a couple of changes to his design to make it better, what would you say you would adjust to this look? Because hmm. I can't find much. I mean, I guess so. He has some openings on his chest mm-hmm. that I would assume are for attaching something, but we're not really told for what or ever shown for what. They just yeah. happen to have openings. Um, I mean, I guess we would, could assume that it's for hooks to go in or maybe something to come out of them. I think... I I'm wondering if it would be interesting if he did have a cape. You mentioned it earlier. Like, would it mm-hmm. add to his grandeur as this engineer, so to say, that you mentioned as this leader of this group or would it take something away from his character and make him maybe too uh, too comic-y too humor based yeah it's with horror it, you know horror, it's such a thin line between being scared and just being like oh that's supposed to scare me you know what right. i mean so i think if done right maybe a cloak or maybe the robe starting at the shoulder rather than starting yes. at the waist may give him more of a kind of authoritative look. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying giving him... You know, there's a band called Ghost that is really rad. And their lead <laughs> singer is always wearing like this giant Pope hat. <laughs> I don't think he should get one of those. Uh, but you, you mentioned the open slits on his chest. And as a kid, I always imagined that for him to use the blood to maybe like wipe on the heads of of his victims or something like that. Maybe kind of like the, right. an ashing but it's of his blood but i don't know they seem kind of superfluous they seem kind of just there it's never been explained why his open gashes are there but that right, right. since they are known as the order of the gash it kind of makes sense that mm-hmm. a little blood has to be shown on all of them right other right. than the pins in his head he's fairly clean versus the other three cenobites exactly mm-hmm. so if i was to change anything Oh man, it's so tough. Like hair would ruin it. You know what I mean? <laughs> just give him, just give him a little bun, oh like a little samurai, a Hellboy samurai bun. In oh the my back. god! Well, no. I have, I haven't. This one's really picky. Yes. Um, so uh, he has these faux gloves that cover up his pinky and his thumb. Yeah. And in one sense, like at night, that could be really cool because you're like, oh, these creatures only have three fingers. That's really creepy. I just don't think they're designed for comfort. Like, I feel like, <laughs> like, also these costumes must be very hot if they're pure leather. You know they are. They have to be like, they have. To oh be. my goodness! Uh, under all that makeup, on top of that, under exactly. all that leather, on a on a on a film set with lights and stuff. Exactly. And now you it's have these uncomfortable insane. like thumb gloves. Like it. It doesn't make sense. I don't like it. They're like reverse fingerless gloves. It's like <laughs> there's, there's an indi- uh, individual glove for each pinky, but your hand is open. It's like I can't do anything with this. Give give my guy some full gloves or go home. <laughs> That's what I say. That's what I I think that would be a, a nice little uh, uh, pin in this yes, character. Yes, yes. <laughs> very very good. 